I'm Janice Crenetti. I've been teaching environmental and animal science for about 20 years, and I'm here to talk to you today about where monkeys live. Well, that all depends on the type of monkey that you're talking about. As I said, monkeys belong to a group called primates. That includes people, chimpanzees, orangutans, gorillas, and also new world and old world monkeys. Now that distinction is important between the new world and the old world because that tells us where the monkeys are found. New world monkeys are found in the new world, predominantly in Central and South America. We do have some monkeys up here in the Everglades of Florida, but they're actually not supposed to be there, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But the new world monkeys are predominantly tree dwellers. You'll notice that they have long arms and legs for swinging through the trees. Another feature of many of the New World monkeys is something called a prehensile tail. That's a long tail that can almost grab around something like a hand. They use that as an extra limb for hanging on tree branches, especially important when you're propped up in a tree many, many, many hundreds of feet off the ground trying to eat and stay away from predators all at the same time. New World monkeys include things like spider monkeys and tamarins. The golden lion tamarin is one that became famous as people were trying to preserve the Amazon rainforest. The other group of monkey that we have are the Old World monkeys. Now these are found in the Old World, predominantly in Asia and Africa. They're found in very diverse environments. Baboons are typically found in forested areas as well as, as, well as savannas. Think of the Lion King. You also have monkeys like Japanese macaques that live in the Himalayans where it's very, very cold. They have very thick fur that enables them to stay warm in the snow. Now, your old world monkeys tend to live more on the ground than they do in the trees. And so you'll see them walking on all fours rather than swinging through the branches. And you'll notice that they don't have the prehensile tails like some of the, old, the new world monkeys have. The other thing about baboons is that their diet tends to be pretty diverse. If he was to open his mouth, you'd see gigantic canine teeth. They actually feed on small mammals as well as fruit. A lot of primates are what we would call opportunistic omnivores. They eat anything that they can get their hands on. Monkeys are very diverse, highly intelligent, and many of them have become endangered around the world as their habitats are slowly being lost. I also mentioned the invasive problem. You see here in the Florida Everglades, we've had some monkeys get loose during hurricanes. Most likely they escape from a zoo. Well, the Florida Everglades are a lot like the environments where monkeys live worldwide. The problem is they're not supposed to be there. And scientists are working hard to get that population under control. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is Where Do Monkeys Live?